Hello, I'm Jacob with the Virtual Technology Assistance Program at Thomas Nelson Community College. Today, we'll be covering the new user interface in the MyTNCC login page. Let's go ahead and check it out. Here's the school's main webpage, tncc.edu. Let's go to Current Students and scroll down to Sign into MyTNCC. You can already see some differences in this new login page and enter your VCCS username here, which is just your email address without the at vccs.edu part of it. And enter your password here as normal. Not only does it look different, but we also have some new buttons. The only one we'll be covering is MFA, which means multi-factor authentication. So a password would be a single factor of authentication, and we can log in with only our password, a single factor. We can add additional factors, which will make it exponentially more difficult for someone who isn't you to access your account. So all factors fall under one of three categories. What you know, what you have, and what you are. What you know would be a password. What you have could be like a key to your door or um, having access to your smartphone. And what you are gets into biometrics, so things like fingerprints, retinal scans, and facial recognition. So with multi-factor authentication, we require anyone trying to sign into your account to verify their identity by any two or more of these factors. So a password in addition to having your smartphone or password in addition to having your fingerprint. If we go ahead and open up multi-factor authentication, it describes the other authentication methods that we can add and it lists the, uh, the most secure, the least secure, and a recommended as well as an alternative to the recommended. There's a trade-off between convenience and security, so I'm confident in recommending any of these options except the least secure one, which should only be used if you don't have a smartphone. And I definitely don't recommend just using a password because that is less secure than this. There are some videos on this page that you can watch if you need help in setting it up. And if you want to learn more about password security, you can check out the video linked in the description that I made some time ago. But the basics of setting it up are back on our main my TNCC page, go to your profile, and all of these options have to do with multi-factor authentication. And the videos on that page will describe how to set them up. So back here on my TNCC, let's look at some of these other buttons. We can change it between a tile view like it's in now to a list view. So it's the same information, just presented differently. I personally prefer the tile view, so I'll keep it on that. And we can, of course, access all the resources that we could in the past. So things like Canvas and SIS. SIS actually just received a UI overhaul as well. So I'll link that in the video description too. And you have your student email here and Google Drive. And you can change your password and profile settings here in the same place that the multi-factor authentication was. And you can look for alerts associated with your account here. It provides a good log and serves as a good way of finding out if someone unauthorized has used your account. If you do suspect someone unauthorized is using your account, change your password immediately. If it persists, contact IT services whose contact information will be linked below. I hope this video is useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or send them to vtaptncc at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and happy learning.